What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ecola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today we're going to be talking about Titanfall. We're going to be talking a little bit about my first thoughts, my opinions, and what I think of the game overall as well as if I think it's going to be a Call of Duty killer. But before we go too far into the video and explain the gameplay and the background a little bit, I was going off in this game. I ended up I think 42 and 5. The only thing that I don't like is there are a lot of AI units in this game and the fact that you can get those kills counted towards it. So I ended up with I think like 11 or 12 pilot kills and the rest were a bunch of AIs, but there were a bunch of situations where I was in close quarters gunfights going off on kids, and then I actually did a really cool maneuver in my Titan, I'll let you guys watch for that. But moving on to the actual topic, my initial thoughts were actually amazing. I loved it, I was stunned at the graphics, and the fluidity of it was actually great. The balance is one of the things that actually blew me away, because usually betas aren't balanced at all, but at this time, it seems to me like it's a very balanced game, and the thing that also stood out to me regarding the fact that it was a beta is that the graphics are only 70 to 80% of what they actually will be outputted at when it's actually launched. So for any of you guys that have played on PC or Xbox One, it is absolutely stunning the graphics on this. So that type of stuff, that just blows me away at how well done it already is. If you guys haven't picked up the beta, I suggest go looking for a code for Xbox One or PC, whichever you have, it is totally Totally worth it. Now, do I think this is going to be a Call of Duty killer? Let's start with some reasons why I think it could be. For one, it's new. We haven't seen something really like this in Call of Duty for years. Granted, there are new storylines and such, but the real last big transition in the Call of Duty world was the transition from World War II to a modern time. Granted, we did go back to Vietnam, we did go in the future, but that stuff is only minor. The actual biggest changes were something completely different because World War II to modern times is a much bigger gap than Vietnam to modern time or a modern time to 10 years in the future. Now another thing that I loved was the idea of Titan vs. Titan, Titan vs. Pilot, or Pilot vs. Pilot combat. That stuff is brilliant because we haven't seen anything like that in the Call of Duty years since World at War whenever you had tanks and that was still only a very small difference between how the players reacted and how they were able to combat with each other. So with those three things and then if you you want to add the AIs in as another form of combat, that's four multiple tiered levels of combat that you have in one single game, and that is absolutely amazing. It adds so much more dynamic and pace to the game. Now we'll get to pace in just a little bit, but I want to say beforehand, it feels amazing. It feels like a cross between Halo, Battlefield, and COD. This is something that's unique, but also embodies everything that the fans love, all while transferring mechanics over to those similar games, but they feel more enjoyable and friendly in a sense. So now let's pick up with the pace. I really had my concerns going into the beta. I thought it would be too big of maps, too much of open areas, all that kind of stuff. Granted, it's only two maps in the beta, but it plays tremendously fast. The AIs allow for so much more fast-paced, a war mentality, and it's a great addition to the game. 12 players total on these large maps would have been an awful idea, and I'm so glad that the AIs are in there. Even though they give some sort of padding of stats effect to your kills, they add so much more dynamic to the game. And the use of these AIs, the players, and the Titans always make it a duck run and cover type of situations, and it makes the game play very well. Now, my last piece to why I think it might be a Call of Duty killer is that it's actually fun. I couldn't tell you the last time that I played a first person shooter game and I was able to use that word and the game in the same sentence. I'm way too competitive in this type of stuff. I always think, you know what, I could do better, I gotta grind to get to where I wanna be. And when I do that, I'll usually have a falling out and I'll get really upset, I'll get mad at myself, and then my performance in the game slacks off. Titanfall, however, I'm doing well, I can challenge myself, and I'm having fun all at the same time. So it feels good to actually enjoy a first person shooter for once. Now let's move on to why I don't think it's going to be a Call of Duty killer. This only has a few reasons as to why, but they are very prevalent in how it is played out amongst the competition with Call of Duty. Firstly, Call of Duty has become a cult. So many people are literally diehard fans, and even with the disappointments, the numbers still rise every year. You see constantly that Call of Duty is breaking the previous Call of Duty titles records. They're doing all sorts of sales and just breaking numbers everywhere. Even with how big of a failure people thought Call of Duty Ghost was, it still did tremendously well. Granted, it wasn't the best-selling Call of Duty of all time. It still outperformed 90% of the games in the market. As well, EA does not have the push that Activision does. Granted, such games such as Battlefield have come out and done amazing sales-wise and have great followings in the game, 
EA doesn't market their stuff nearly as well as Activision does. If Titanfall were to want to kill COD, we'd have to see a lot more marketing for it, like TV spots, YouTube ads, endorsements, and all kinds of stuff like that. Yes, we're seeing a little bit of marketing on Titanfall, but not as much as it would need. So, for those of you guys diehard Call of Duty fans, don't really worry. I don't think that this is going to upset the Call of Duty community too much, and if it were me, I'd honestly say to give Titanfall a try, it's honestly enjoyable being a Call of Duty player of six plus years and being in those situations where I feel like a crazy fanboy at times, Titanfall is absolutely amazing. Like I said with my first thoughts, it was one of the greatest games that I feel I've played in a long time. Call of Duty Ghosts was great on release day, but this beta actually blew me away, and I cannot wait until the full game is released. I'm definitely excited for it, I'm definitely excited to play the full thing, and I'm definitely excited to actually enjoy a first-person shooter again. So with all that being said now, the question comes to you guys. Do you want to see Titanfall content up on my channel? I am actually very excited to put together some content for Titanfall, but if you guys don't want to see it, I won't force it upon you guys. I'll stay Call of Duty, I'll stay neutral, but I'm actually very excited to get some content up for Titanfall. I'm super stoked to get some stuff out there. I'm super stoked to play the game in its entirety. So, I want to know what you guys have to say about all this. If you guys want to see Titanfall gameplay, if you want to see tips and tricks, whatever you want to see, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm most likely going to be getting the game. That is if I have the funds to spare, which I think I do, so that is always a good thing. Like I said though let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below of all of this that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching my name's been Nicolai espresso if you did like the video please leave a like rating down below any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're og like that are always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe for the best of titanfall content feels weird to say that but it also feels really good to say i got a ton of stuff coming to you guys that i actually have planned and i cannot wait to get it all up to you guys. So, hope you guys are having a great day as always. My name's Benicola Espresso. I shall see you guys later. Take care and peace.